Okay, the last thing I want to cover before we get hands-on with some Power Query tools are the data loading options because these are very, very important. Now, when you've connected to a source, you've applied whatever steps and transformations you'd like in the query editor, your next step is to actually load that data from Power Query into Excel. And you've got two options. You can load or load to. If you press load, by default, Excel is going to try to dump that table and that data into a sheet, which is okay if you're dealing with very small data sets, but for the purposes of this course, we don't want to go that route. So you've got a few options here. The first set of options is table versus connection only. So again, the table is going to store that data into a new or an existing worksheet. And because you're dealing with a worksheet, you're also dealing with the size limitations of a worksheet, not just about a million rows. Connection only, on the other hand, which we're going to be using, saves the data connection settings and the applied steps in Power Query, and the data doesn't actually load to a worksheet itself. Now, the last option that we really care about here is the checkbox that says add this data to the data model. Now, we are always going to check this box because we always want the data to be accessible as part of our model. And when you check that box, it's going to take all that data and it's going to compress it and load it into that model where it's accessible to us to create those relationships and to then eventually analyze with Power Pivot and with DAX. So with that, let's get started with some basic table transformation tools.